Nick Lee here from Pragmatic Works coming at you again with another Azure Everyday video. It is a beautiful day in Jacksonville, Florida. I have to do this one outside. Uh, so this topic I want to talk to you today about is security. More specifically, uh, row level security, the idea of column level security, as well as table level security. Now most people uh, when they're using Power BI, that's what this is pertaining to, by the way, it's Power BI. Uh, most people, when they are talking security, they think row-level security. Here's what row-level security is, if you're not aware. So you want to set up rows based on different roles people have. Now, don't get me wrong, there's a very common misnomer where some people think it's called role-level security. Well, that is sort of true. It is role-level security. It's called row-level security because we're creating security at the row level. So essentially what you want to do is you'll see you have a table, like a fact table for instance, that has all kinds of information on sales for your company. Let's assume it's sales data. So we have sales information over in uh, an entire fact table that contains to everywhere over the whole country. You're selling products to everywhere in the country. And in that country, let's say me, myself, uh, I have sales in the northeast region of the United States. Well, in the Northeast region of the United States, um, that is the only bit of data that I am supposed to be able to see because that is my sales spot, right? Well, someone else in the company, like for instance, uh, Devin Knight might have be a salesperson in the central region of the United States. So when he looks at the same exact report that I do, he should only see central level United States. What about our boss? Let's say me and Devin both report to the same exact boss who um, should have the uh, capability to see both mine and Devon's regions. And you can set that up in row level security. So what that does, it filters down a table to pertain to which exact row pertains to which exact region. So that's how row level security works in a nutshell in Power BI, it filters down a table. Well, there's a couple new things, not necessarily new, but a couple different things you can do in Power BI that are a bit tricky. Um, one of them is, in the same exact report is in Power BI, you cannot actually do column level security. This is something that people ask for all the time. So this would be a little bit different, right? Because this might pertain to, let's say you have an HR person who should be able to see everyone's sales regions, which is totally doable. But that HR person may also need to see uh, someone's salary, right? So if you want to see someone's salary, uh, you know, that would have to be a whole new report if you want to display it in the report because, you know, in the row level security, there is no way to filter out a column like salary level. You know, this is just a random example off the top of my head for the record. Uh, so, you know, you, we can't filter down salary level. So whoever looks at the report, depending on, you know, which which uh, rows are filtered down, there'd still be a, a salary column that would be used in the report somewhere. So uh, there is a type of column level security that you can do though. This is only doable in the tabular model. You still use the role based security that you do uh, in the like manage roles option in Power BI. And what you could do is you could actually, instead of making a filter based on a, uh, based on a certain demographic within a column, instead of doing that, you can make a filter on a column. Let's say like region would equal, you know, Northeast for me in my row level security, right? Well, what you could do for column level security is you could put, uh, like for instance, the salary column equals, and instead of putting something in there, you could put false. And what that does, it eliminates that, that column from the entire report. So you can actually hide that. Now, it is a little more tricky than that. I'm not going to go into all the semantics here. Um, you know, we're trying to make these videos kind of short. But long story short, you can do it only in tabular, though. Only in tabular. Now, I will say uh, there is table level security where you can eliminate entire tables from a report for people to see and it's the same concept as like i said with the column level security and this does not require a tabular model you could do this in any model is what you do is you put a table name equals false and that filters out the table from the entire report uh, depending on, you know, different roles that you have set up in place. Now, this is pretty handy, but at the same time, keep aware that both column level security and table level security can break certain visuals. 
you know, if you put certain columns or uh, into a visual and that visual no longer has those columns, it will break that visual and no one will be able to see it if that column or table is missing. Still, that being said, this may still pertain to exactly what you're looking for when it comes to different types of security settings that you have in your Power BI reports. All right, that's all I have for you today. Make sure to check my Twitter out. It's at Back to SQL. I post stuff all the time. Again, my name is Nick Lee, and thank you for tuning in.